Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So I hope you've all had a brilliant Christmas. Um, I have bought myself some Christmas presents as you can see. So yeah, they've arrived now. So I bought some things just before Christmas and then some things after Christmas from Kiki London. You can see on the boxes. So that's what this video is going to be about today. So yeah, we're, um, we're going to swatch these and have a look what I've got. So I'm going to start with this big box first because it is the biggest one and it's taking up loads of room. So it's a brush, this one, and it's a detailer brush because I didn't have one. Uh, well, I do have one, but it's not very good. I damaged it. So I thought I'd try one of these and see how they are. And I love them because they've got a lid. So you're not going to damage the bristles because that's what I did with my other one. I damaged the bristles on it, so... That is what it looks like. So you can see it's a very small tip on the brush, which is just what I need. So I haven't took the glue off or anything yet. I'm just gonna leave that as it is because I'm not using it today. So that's that. They do have a range of brushes that you can choose from. So in this little box, I decided to try some of the rubber bases because they've got these colored rubber bases. So this is the first one, so this is RB01, and this is like a milky white one, but it's a bit more opaque. They do a milky white one that's more sheer, but I wanted the more opaque one, so it looked a bit like um, white builder gel, but in a base coat, so that's why I wanted that one. And then I got a couple of pinks, so I've got 02 which is, as you can see, it's quite a light pink. We will swatch them all. And then and I've got another pink one here, and this is RB06. I don't think there's a lot of difference between these two. One's just a little bit darker than the other one. But when you're doing French nails and stuff, sometimes it's really important to get the right pink that you want. Um, and then this one is RB04, and this is a bit of a darker one. But I really love that. I watched um, the swatch video that was on Kiki London's YouTube channel to choose which ones I wanted. And then I chose this one, which is 10. And this is, I don't know if you can see that. It's like a milky white. Well, it's got a slight pinkish tinge to it, but it's got holographic glitter in it. And I really like this one because it's not just got white glitter in or silver glitter. It is holographic, so it's all different colours. And I haven't got one like that. So I really wanted to try that. And then, so those are the rubber bases which we will swatch. And then I've also got some, the last one in this box is a gel polish. And last time when I did some Christmas nails, when I did the blue set, I didn't have a baby blue that was light enough. So I got one of those. This is called Baby Boy. That's that one. And then in this box, I've got more gel polishes and goodies. So they recently had a few launches and I saw other people's videos and I was just like, oh, I need that and I need that and I need that. So I thought, right, I'm going to get, I'm going to treat myself at Christmas um, and get these things. So obviously you can see there's some little pots here. So we'll go through those in a minute. I'm going to go through the gel polishes first. So this is one from the Hema Free range. It's called Lavender Lust. I didn't have a top and base coat, so I thought, well, why am I buying all these polishes? I need to get a base and a top coat. So I decided to go with the Hema Free range. And then the last one from the Hema Free range is True Nude, because I haven't got a nude from Kiki. So I decided to go with that one. And then this is a pink one, Barbie pink, that is. Oh, that's the Hema Free as well, but that has got a top on it. So these must be the new bottles and these ones must be the old bottles. I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter to me because I'll be swatching them on swatch sticks anyway. And then I've got this one called Glisten Up and I love the way that this looked because it's got, it's got glitter in it. And I just thought that one looked really nice. And this is, what's this one called? Moonlight Pearl. So this is like a white um, shimmery one. So that's it for the gel polishes. And then there's some of the newer products that I got. So this is 
these are some of the platinum flakes and these are the pink ones so i just got some of those to try because i really like the color i got a couple of chrome powders so again i love pink and purple so that's what i tend to choose so this one is the like sort of it's kind of like a rose gold color i don't know if you can see that i've got a new uh, light as well so hopefully you can see that and then this is the purple one it says that it's purple but to me it's like a dark pink and i really like that one as well so those are both are chrome powders and then i also got the holographic powder so that's there so that's going to be interesting to see what that's like and then i had to get this one as well so this is the white chrome powder and it says pearl white chrome on there and it just looks gorgeous in the in the pot i did have something like this uh, but i don't know what happened to it i don't know where it went so i'm really excited to try that so yeah that's everything so i'm going to get the swatch sticks out and we're just going to have a bit of a swatch -a -thon on all these okay so i think we're going to do the rubber bases first and then i'll move on to the gel polishes so the first one i'm doing is rb01 so this is the first rubber base and this is the milky white one so obviously i've not used any of the rubber bases before this is the first time me trying them and they went on the swatch stick really easily so i know that they're going to be you know going onto the nails easily so that's really good and they weren't like really patchy or anything so this is what that one looks like with two coats and it top coated and i was really impressed with that it's just what i wanted just the opaqueness that i wanted so before i forget if you like this video please give it a like if you're not already a subscriber consider subscribing and if you hit the bell notification that means that you will be notified whenever i upload a new video and also links to everything that's in this video will be in the description box below if you do like kiki london colors i do have another swatch video which i will link in the description box below as well um because that just i really like watching swatch videos because it helps me choose which colors that i'm going to choose because if you look on the websites of companies sometimes they're not always um the same color as you think you're going to get but i think video does show it a bit better sometimes so i'm just going to pop some music on now and let you watch these swatches and then i'll come back when i've done them all So here are all the rubber bases together 
and I'm really impressed with them. They're like um, builder gels, but slightly thinner than builder gels. So a little bit thinner and a little bit sort of runnier. But you put your two coats on and the colour is fantastic. They are just really, really good. I'm so impressed. So obviously we've got the RB10 with the glitter in and that is absolutely gorgeous. I love it, but it's much more sheer than RB01 which is just what I wanted, so I love those. And then the pink ones, I don't know if you can see, there is a slight difference. I love number four because it's this darker colour, but I'm just gonna compare two and six. They are very, very slightly different. Um, number two is lighter, number six is darker, but I think number six is a bit more sheer than number two. So you would need sort of more coats on to get that colour, but I like both of those. They are really nice. So yeah, I'm really impressed with those. So we're going to move on to the gel polishes now. Right, so I'm going to start off with the Hema Free collection. So the first one is this one, True Nude. I'll just put some music on so you can see the swatches. And as usual, I will do two coats of each colour and I will put the top coat on after that.
So here are all the gel polishes together and I absolutely love them. They're going to go perfect with the ones that I've already got. So yeah, I love that baby blue. It's gorgeous. Just what I wanted, a really light one. And yeah, that moonlight pearl, the white one, that's really nice. Maybe I should have got a bigger bottle of that. I don't know. But right, we're going to move on to the chrome powders and, you know, the little pots now. So the first one is this rose gold one. Now, I did try it on a black swatch stick first because this is how you're supposed to use them according to Kiki London's video. But I did find that it was a bit dark and I wanted it lighter. So I decided to try it over a white swatch stick as well just to see what the difference was. I have put a coat of the Hema Free No Wipe Top Coat and cured that for 60 seconds before I rubbed this chrome powder in. And I did think that it looked a lot better over the white. So that's what I'll be doing with that one. But I think you can use colours underneath them as well, just for a different, slightly different shade. So the next one's the purple one, which is like a, de a deep sort of pink purple. And I did do that over black. So again, it has got a coat of the no white top coat on. And that's been cured for 60 seconds. So they rub in really easily. You can get some cheaper ones that, that just don't work properly. But these, you can tell that they're good quality because they do rub in really well. So then next I've got the holographic powder. So I'm just going to swatch this over a black base. And it doesn't look like anything in the pot. But when you put it on, it's just amazing. And this went on a lot easier than even the other chrome powders so this was so easy to use so you can use that with other colors underneath it and you can do that with this white pearl powder as well so when i opened this it had gone sort of a bit everywhere um, but i did manage to clean it up and then i put it over the barbie pink because i didn't want to put it over white because you wouldn't be able to see it so it just gives the most gorgeous like pearly sheen and I love that. So I was really, really happy with that. And then the last part that I've got is the Platinum Flakes, the pink ones. So these are 06. So with this one, I just put um, on the swatch stick, I put white on the top and then black on the bottom. And then I just put a base coat on and cured that. And then I just pressed the flakes into the sticky base coat after it had been cured. And you can put these into a wet base coat or a wet top coat just before you cure it. Um, I don't know what they look like when you rub them into a no wipe top coat. I will have to try that as well. So here are all the pigments together. So they were so easy to apply and they just look amazing. I'm really so impressed with them. And I love the colour of those flakes as well. So I can't wait to start putting some of these things on my nails and actually using them for sets. So that will be coming up soon. I just have to choose what I'm going to use first. So here is everything that I've swatched today. Um, so those are the pigments. These are the gel polishes and the rubber bases. The gel polishes are really creamy. They're amazing. So yeah, that's it for this video. So I want to say a big thank you for watching this video and links to everything will be in the description box as usual. And I will see you in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.